News Everyday News on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the 1st of October at 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and I turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. And So guys, uh, here's the latest news man. Um, the government reportedly gave uh, 1,000 Zimbabwe dollar only as compensation to families of the August 1, 2018 army shootings victims. The amount given to assist the burial of those killed by army personnel during the post-election protest of a delayed announcement of presidential election results translates uh, to less than uh, 2 US dollars. Families of the six people killed during the disturbances opened up this week saying wounds of the incident are too fresh. President Emerson Nangagwa narrowed beat opposition leader Nelson Chamisa in the disputed elections with the case spilling into the constitutional court where Chamisa lost the challenge. During the post-election protest, the army, using live ammunition, opened fire on fleeing protesters, killing Sylvia Maposa, Galvin Dean, Charles Ishmael Kumire, Jalaj Chakandira, Challenge Tauro, and Brian Joao. 35 others were wounded in the shootings in Harare's central business district. The killings urged the international limelight, forcing Nangagwa to appoint a commission of inquiry headed by former South African President Halema Moshante to investigate the killings. Among a raft of recommendations, the commission said families of the deceased should be compensated and that perpetrators be held accountable. Last week, the crisis in Zimbabwe coalition hosted a roundtable discussion to measure progress on implementation of the recommendations of the commission and victims of the deceased expressed sadness over their neglect. Alison Charles, who lost her brother, Galvin Dean, could not hold back her tears, saying her brother was killed like a dog. My brother died like a dog. He was never a violent person. Alison said in between tears, I have tried litigation to no avail. The government is untouchable and unapproachable. The only compensation we got from the government was their 1,000 deposit into our accounts to cover some funeral expenses. It was not even enough. At the time, we were assisted by loved ones and friends. Maxo Tauro said he wanted justice to find closure over the killing of his son Charles Tauro. I found out on social media that my son was shot, but I did not believe it. He said, my wounds are too fresh. I can't even maintain my son's grave because I have no money. He was our breadwinner. I'm also demanding justice. We need to know the perpetrators. CICZ chairperson Peter Mtasa said, August 1, 2018 brings said memories and expressed regret that there is no will on the part of government to compensate the victims. We look at the August 1, 2018 shootings with sadness and grief as deceased families are yet to be compensated four years after the shootings, Mdaza said. We are continuing to engage the commission and we have written to them and I don't know if it's bad or good news. Our secretary just received communication with the Mutlata Commission to engage again on September 30. Opposition leader Linda Masarira, who testified before the Mutlanta Commission, later donated five bags of cement to Tauro for his son's grave. There is no political will to compensate the victims. There should be a special fund to compensate the families, Masarira said. And so what happened uh, on the 1st of August 2018 was unfortunate. And one thing uh, that really like uh, bothered me a lot is that on Agafa on this day, Wanga was Sinai Nezraitika on that day. So those were casualties of this whole uh, violence I get on the first of August. So we're gonna aid uh, this as a failure uh, from the president, you know, uh, from the ED himself, the president, because he failed to compensate, he failed to even show remorse of those people who were killed uh, by army personnel. And some of these guys uh, who were generals at, the, at that time, they were forced to retire. Some were told ambassador somewhere. And they were told to ambassador. And they were told to end. What's the use of that commission? Can I make my recommendations now? And they were told recommendations that the government should have implemented four years later. But nothing has, has been done so far regarding to what uh the Mutlatla commission come up with and so this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv as it in the comment section remember to like share comment and follow we send condolences messages to the families i will lose their loved ones on this uh, day which was the first of august 2018 and it's so sad man it's really sad because uh those people who died on that day they had nothing to do 
that day like for real. Early news breaking news everyday news on prince mill entertainment tv bless up